the goal for me is to, yes, teach them the skill of how to build a funnel um, and how to, you know, build out an autoresponder sequence, stuff like that. But I also want to give them like a done for you lead magnet system that they're up and running. So I think this is what people really resonate with and they can really get a quick win, right? Because they already have this this asset, this IP, right? Uh, intellectual property. And they just started this like $7 challenge, right? So that's that's the cool thing about day two. It's like the, the meat and potatoes of the whole challenge. This is The Fighting Entrepreneur, the podcast dedicated to entrepreneurs looking to change the world. Learn how to start, build, and scale a business in today's highly competitive business environment. Here's your host, The Fighting Entrepreneur, Anik Singhal. What's up, you crazy fighting entrepreneurs? How you doing? It's your favorite personal whole wide world, and today, ooh, it's gonna be a fun episode. Can you imagine a low ticket funnel that makes over $500,000 a month? Well, if you can't, you will after today's episode. All right, here's the deal. So our, our guest today, our expert who's stepping into the ring with me, um, he's, he's a returning star. He's been here before. The problem I have is he's bulked up a lot since he was here last. So I'm not sure I want to be in this fight with him, but, um, you know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to take one for the team here. All right. But he might, he might TKO me today. Um, he, I have, since we last saw him, it was probably five, six months ago. I don't even remember, maybe a year ago at this point, he is killing it. He's crushing it. And if you are inside my, inside my head group, I have a Facebook group called inside my head. I'll just tell you that you should go find it. We have 7,000 people in it. It's, it's, I like to say it's a fun group. I don't know what other people say, but I posted something recently where I made a prediction and I said, low ticket funnels, get your shit in order. If you're not doing it as marketers, get moving. Cause I'm sorry, I do not care what people are saying. A recession is coming. Buying habits are going to change. We are all going to hurt. The hurt is coming. Get ready. Okay. Now, a lot of people are going to get shook off. The marketing world is going to change. This has happened. I am 20 years into this. Consider me the grandfather in this space. I've seen it three times now. This is the fourth cycle happening. The survivors, there's going to be a lot of them. Hey, I'm still here. I survived three of them. Are going to be those who adapt, those who are willing to go with the tides. I'm. A, we have about six to nine months. I'm giving you, because even if the economy falls, our marketing industry, our digital course selling industry, we usually get a few months of like grace period before it infects. And actually, when the market falls, our, our industry actually goes up a little bit because more people are looking for that. It goes up and then it comes down. So you got some time, get your stuff in order. That's what I started doing. So at Learn, we are working now for two reasons we're working on low ticket funnels. And reason number one, I just told you, it's a must. If we don't do it, we're going to be extinct in two years. Reason number two, a reason that's actually closer to my heart than anything else is that I love the courses we offer, but yes, our courses are in the thousands of dollars for the most part. We want to start reaching a wider audience. So I want to be able to provide things and training and education and inspiration to those who cannot afford that. So it collectively got me looking down the track of low ticket. Well, here's a problem. Most of my smartest friends weren't really doing low ticket. So I'm like, wow. And I used to do low ticket like crazy back in the day. So today we're bringing, so I've made a post on my inside my head group. And Jonathan comes along and very nicely flexes, very softly flexes. He's like, I'm killing it. And I asked him one question, which spun the room for me and spun everything. I changed my schedule and got Jonathan on as soon as I could. Selfishly, this is a very selfish episode, all right? I asked him, yes, but is your funnel evergreen? And he's like, oh yeah. I was not expecting that answer. He said, oh yeah? And I was like, stop the presses, move my calendar, move my schedule on Facebook messaging him. I'm like, you and I need to talk, please, ASAP. And let's do it on the podcast so others can learn from it. And him being the awesome guy he is said, sure. And here he is today. Now, before we officially start, of course, come on, subscribe button if you're on YouTube, thumbs up button, comment, copy paste the URL, send it to your grandmother, send it to everybody. Let's get this podcast growing. You know that the rest of this year, I'm focusing a lot on YouTube and and ironically, TikTok. Now, the funny thing about that is the last time I tried TikTok and then went and blew it up, but that's fine, was after a conversation I had on this podcast with this same guest, Jonathan. He was on, and after that, I got inspired and went. So now, it's funny. It's kind of serendipitous. I'm like, 
ready to start it again soon here in a week. Um, and he happens to be back on my podcast. So we're going to have a lot of fun today, okay? Onicpodcast.com to binge listen to all of our other episodes and lurn.com to join the entrepreneurial revolution. Without further ado, our guest today, okay? He is um, probably one of the nicest marketers I've had the pleasure of working with or knowing or speaking to. This guy has all heart. He's always available. He's ready to teach. The last episode we did, he revealed pretty much everything that he charges a lot of money to reveal. Holds nothing back. And I respect that a lot. I've watched him grow um, and he's growing super fast, um, like really, really fast. Um, and what I love about him the most, being that I'm about to have a baby soon, is he's a family guy. I love the pictures you post. He's all about his kids and his wife. And I respect that. So, Loved having him back on. Everyone help me welcome back to the podcast, Mr. Jonathan Montoya. Jonathan, what's up, man? Thanks for being back. What's up, Anik? Thanks for having me back, man. I'm super excited. And I know what you said, like I inspired you to do TikTok last time. Well, uh, it's kind of funny because you you made a post the other day inside your head group and you're like, yeah, I made 100 TikTok videos in one day. I actually did that yesterday. So you inspire me a lot yes. as well, man. So anyways, but thanks for having me on. Dude, that is awesome. Good for you. Um, you know, it's so funny. We're going to go on a tangent. That's OK. Um, I, I did that. I did that 100 day. I did that 100 video in a day of filming. And uh, it was with Ryan McGinn. He was here. And I was... It was so crazy, man. If you told me, okay, here, let's let's spin it. And everyone, if you're listening, this is like such a crazy mind hack. If if Jonathan came to me and said, Anik, I'm going to come to your uh, Learn Center. We're going to film for eight hours. I would literally dread it. I would cry, whine. I'd consider breaking my own leg to get out of it. Like, it's not something I would look forward to. But this, I really was looking forward to. I was eager. I was excited. I got up early. I don't get up early for anything. I got up early to be here for it. And I was documenting how it was going inside that, inside my head group for everybody. Man, I had a blast and we filmed a hundred videos. I think we filmed for about eight plus hours and there was really no downtime. And I, I can't wait to do it again, but he got, you know, Ryan ended up getting three, four months worth of videos out of me, at least two, three months, if nothing else. He'll be back in a few months. We'll do it again. And, and, and it was a blast. So what I'm trying to tell everyone who's listening here is, Figure out ways to reposition things that you need to do and your mind will receive them so differently. But man, I can't wait to see the results you get. Uh, how did you enjoy it? Was it fun? Did you get through it? Yeah, I loved it. I mean, I was making TikToks like here and there every single day. And this was like, oh, this is way easier. You gave me the idea, the inspiration. And I was like, cool. So I asked my team, can we do this? And I'm like, yeah, just throw them all in the, in the folder and we'll edit them for you. So I'm like, okay, perfect. I got three months of content. You know, TikTok, IG Reels, YouTube Shorts, which obviously I'm going to talk about how I use that to uh, fuel my challenge. Uh, you know, we'll talk about that as well. But yeah, man, thank you. <laughs> That's killer. You know what I'd love if you don't get it, if you uh, if you don't have, um, I'm going to make a post. I'll call you out in the group. I'd love for you to leave a comment just telling everybody that you did it. Because um, it's, 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 what is it? The four minute mile? Is that the story? Like... No one believes they can do it until one person does it. And then like next thing you know, like 50 people do it. Like, so it would be awesome to inspire others in that group to like, just go do it. It's not that hard. It sounds hard. It's really not. All right. Listen, Jonathan, what is going on with this funnel? Walk us through it. Um, I, I think we're going to skip all of the who is Jonathan in this podcast episode. Um, if you guys want to know more about him and his story, go listen to his first episode he did in The Fighting Entrepreneur. So go to onicpodcast.com and search his name and you'll find it. But let's just dive right in. Like half a million dollars from a low ticket funnel is crazy. What's your front end offer? What's the price of the first offer they can buy? Yeah, so the actual challenge, I, it's called the three day business breakthrough challenge. Basically, I um, I help nine to fivers get out of their job. It's it's for you know total beginners trying to start an online business. So um, basically, it's a seven dollar challenge. It's a three day challenge. Now within the funnel itself, I do have upsells, and I'll kind of walk you through that. There's a fifty four dollar order bump, um, and then after that, there's a OTO which is ninety nine dollars. Then I have another OTO for one forty seven, and then another one for four ninety seven. So, um, so that's just that's just the front end funnel, okay? Now I can walk you through what all those are if you want, but uh, that's yeah. just like so you so you know, okay? So so the seven dollar obviously it's just a three day challenge. 
Uh, the fifty-four dollar up uh, order bump. It's basically um, I kind of do the same thing where I, you know, I bring in some of my students or other people, and I, I you know, I have trainings with them, and I have this like vault of trainings. I call them super affiliate trainings. Um, so I have that as an order bump. Uh, that's the fifty-four dollars. Uh, the one forty-seven hey, is pretty cool. Sorry, what is the conversion on that? Fifty-four fifty-four dollars. What percentage of your seven-dollar buyers buy that? Rough, roughly is fine too, man. I don't need you to. I, I believe it's to. about 23%. Okay, got it. Uh, from what I have. Yeah. Okay. So that's the $54. Uh, and then the $147 uh, is a YouTube live I gave in uh, in a mastermind. And it's basically a two day event. Um, you know, I was able to repackage that and use that. Uh, it was a two day event that I, that I gave and I used that. And it's an evergreen uh, program that, that I have now. Okay. Um, the next one Sorry, is real quick. Uh, I think we missed one. So $7, $54. And then you had a $90, $99 bump, uh, up. Okay. I think uh, the 99, that. I'm sorry. The 99 is yeah. actually the YouTube live event. So I, yeah, I okay. 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 Yeah. Okay, cool. And then the next one is the 147. Uh, that's another OTO. Okay. This one's pretty cool. This is, um, you know, because I, I teach people YouTube, uh, that's kind of the main thing I teach as far as traffic. So this one's 147. It's called the YouTube script. So what I do um, is I actually, I have like hundreds of like uh, past YouTube video scripts and, um, you know, videos that we're modeling. I'm saying, hey, you know, I'm going to give you this document so you can literally start, you know, recreating videos on YouTube, even if you're a complete beginner. So this is cool because, you know, someone wants to go in, create a bunch of YouTube videos. Now they don't have to do the research. I did the research for them. Um, I give them the videos. I give them like the, the keywords, like it's, it's a lot. Okay. So I give them all that for 147. Um, and then the last, uh, one, uh, the last, um, OTO is the 497. This is, uh, my three day challenge white label. This is actually really cool. So what this is, it's, um, they can basically turn around and, and copy, the three-day challenge for themselves, and they could take payments. They get all the back-end stuff, which we'll talk about later in the funnel. Um, so that's the last OTO. Okay, so that's the that's okay. the front-end funnel itself. Amazing. All right, so let's go over ninety-nine dollars. What does that convert at roughly? Um, that is converting about six percent. Six percent, and the one forty-seven and the four ninety-seven. Uh, 2% and then 0.7%. And do you know like what every $7 buyer is worth to you right now? Like at cart, not with the back end stuff there. Oh, at cart. Um, yeah. I mean, we could technically figure 20, it out from the 20, $27, $27. Okay. Got it. So perfect. All right. So that's, that's what's at cart and that's what you're driving traffic to right now. Are you driving any paid traffic to this? Do you buy ads for that? Um, so yeah, mostly doing retargeting. I haven't, I've done a little bit of paid yeah. ads. Uh, I've actually I always struggled with the paid ads part of it, but as far yeah. as the retargeting, uh, you know, if someone lands on the front end, we'll do YouTube uh, retargeting ads. Uh, mostly I was doing a little bit of TikTok ads, but right now we're just focusing on YouTube. But about 95% of these are coming from uh, just organic traffic. Got it. Got it. And your organic traffic, for the sake of those who didn't listen to the first episode, is mostly from YouTube, correct? YouTube and TikTok, yes. Uh, I would TikTok. say okay. mostly YouTube and then TikTok is a big part of it as well. Okay. Got it. Awesome. All right. So uh, I'll let you keep going. What else is in the funnel? And then we'll come back and talk a lot about like how you deliver it and over what time things happen. But yeah, keep going. No, yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much it with the funnel. I mean, we could go deeper into that if you want. I mean, I really want to talk about how I deliver it because the way I structured it, it I'm building this community, but I'm also giving them everything they need, even if they just paid the seven dollars. So a lot of people tell me, well, you're giving everything away. I mean, yes and no because I mean I have like a fifteen hundred dollar course on the back end, so like I do give them a lot in the three days, and I kind of want to walk you through that. So. Day one, basically. So real quick, 
Sorry, one sec, one sec. The only thing, just so we get through like all the products and things in your funnel, the only other thing you have then, right? After the one, uh, the 497 is you have a $1,500 course that all of this kind of leads to. Like that's that's like kind of the, the, the ultimate destination, but anything else, anything beyond that? I also know you said you monetize through affiliate programs. You have a few recurring incomes that we'll get into when you talk about delivery, because I think that's part of that. So that's monetization. And then you have a $1,500 program. Anything else? Uh, that's it. That's it right now. Right. I have one question I'm curious about. Have you ever tracked to see like how many of the $7 buyers become a $1,500 buyer? Like even a rough ballpark is like one, two, three yeah. percent. Uh, it's about 4%. That see, that's, that's where the money is at, right? Like that's a huge number. And, I, and I'll wow. kind of explain why that is. Uh, I mean, a part of it is because I do have affiliates as well that kind of help boost mm -hmm. that number, um, you know, with bonuses, but we could talk about that in a little bit. Do you want me to go into like the actual delivery? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Please. So, so it's a three day challenge. Uh, it's all evergreen. So just basically when they buy, you know, after they purchase, uh, they go ahead and, you know, get access to a membership area where the three day challenge is there. Now it's not a drip feed. I know you asked me that it's, they can access the three day challenge the first day if they want. Some people go through it in one day. And uh, that's the cool thing is like it's it, they can access it and they know it's evergreen. So that's that's fine. Now, on day one, basically, and this is they watch a video. I give them a 30,000 foot overview of, you know, what affiliate marketing is, how they could quit their job. You know, the the power of email marketing. Bear in mind, I'm talking to complete beginners. Most of them have never really started an online business. So it's just an overview of that. Now, the cool thing, Anik, and this is something that. I don't see a lot of people doing is so I give them a ton of resources um, with, you know, after the video. So like, let's just say that they don't even watch the video. I, we wrote that whole thing up and we give them like a PDF so they can have an overview of everything. Um, and then within, you know, after day one, I say, Hey, make sure to join my Facebook group where you can uh, post your homework. And this is huge because um, after day one, I'm like, you know, I ask him questions. I have it pulled up here. Um, let me pull it up real quick. I ask him questions like, hey, what did you learn on day one? Um, what's your business name going to be? Um, and then I want you to find, you know, three to five friends inside this group and just build a community, right? And go comment on other people's homework and posts. So, and a lot of people actually do this. And we're like, we're getting a ton of engagement inside our Facebook group, which right now is uh, almost 20,000 members. Um, just, this is just the low ticket challenge itself. Um, but that's day one. Okay. So they go through, um, I give them a ton of overview, nothing, uh, they don't do actually work yet, but this besides like posting in the group. Okay. So after that, they go on to day two and I basically title it, Hey, I'm going to help you build your business in 30 days. So this is where I say, Hey, you know, click here, step-by-step. Step. This is how you build your funnel. This is how you build your autoresponder email swipes. Um, like day two is like a lot and I walk him through step by step. Now, the cool thing here is I don't know. I don't just like show them how to build a funnel. I give them like done for you funnels. I give them, um, you know, done for you email swipes. I believe we're doing about 30 email swipes that I give them. So I give them a lot within the challenge itself. Um, now, another thing I wanted to mention and I don't only give them a funnel, but I also give them a resource. That way they have a, a quick win. So for example, um, I created this book, right? It's basically for a lead magnet, but I let them use it as their own. And within the book, there's a, there's a bunch of affiliate links in there. I let them change the book, let them uh, basically white label it for themselves. So the goal for me is to, yes, teach them the skill of how to build a funnel, um, and how to, you know, build out an autoresponder sequence, stuff like that. But I also want to give them like a done for you lead magnet system that they're up and running. So I think this is what people really resonate with and they can really get a quick win, right? Because they already have this, this asset, this IP, right? Uh, intellectual property. And they just started this like $7 challenge, right? So that's, that's the cool thing about day two. It's like the, the meat and potatoes of the whole challenge, and then same thing, Anik, we, I have them go to the Facebook group. I say, hey, um, you know, give me a screenshot of your funnel. 
of your autoresponder uh, email sequence and, you know, um, let's see what you did, right? And people will go and post the homework. So that's day two. Um, let me see here if I'm missing anything. I just want to walk you through. Oh, yeah. Well, another thing, Anik, is um, I also give them um, like a bridge page script as well because, you know, I'm giving them my assets. I'm giving them like a book that they can use as their own but I still want them to grow their business. I want them to grow their email list, right? So I show them, I, I give them a bridge page, a bridge page script so they can go and say, Hey, you know, thank you for opting into to this book. This is a book that my mentor wrote, but it, they're still getting the email on their list. Right? So that's the goal with me. I don't like done for you systems where you're just giving it to someone so you can build their business. I'm still trying to help them build their business as well. So hopefully that makes sense, but yeah. So, okay. So day, so just to recap for everybody, day one, uh, how long is your training? Um, day one's about an hour. Um, yeah, about an hour. And, and that's, you said that was just like high level, inspire them, motivate them. We're going to get your business going. This is how this business works. These are the resources you have. You have a Facebook group, go in there, get active. So it's just kind of like laying the table, setting the stage. Is that right? Yeah. And I mean, day one is really about like, I, the, the main thing is I show them the power of the email list. Obviously, you know, the power of an email list, but I show yeah. them, I show them inside my business. Like, Hey, this is, this is my email list and this is what it does for me. Right. You know, I always say on the low end, you can make 50 cents per subscriber per month. Right. So you can do the math. Right. Uh, if you're a better email marketer, two to three dollars per email per month. And I show them the numbers, right? You want to make ten thousand dollars a month? This is exactly what you need to do. Build your email list, right? So then that sets them up for day two, um, where I then obviously show them how to actually set up the system. But again, I don't just show them how. I give them everything to have a business up and running in literally like thirty minutes to an hour. So um, I'm big on skills, but I also like you know like done for you resources, funnel, stuff like that, yeah. you know, hand in hand together is, is a good mix because there's a lot of programs out there that'll either have one or the other. There's like just skills, but you know, you got, you got to go and build all this stuff out in yourself, or it's just yeah. a done for you system where you have no idea how to do it yourself. You know what I'm saying? So what yeah. I did is I put the two together so they have the skills to do it, but also the done for you system. So that's basically day two. Got it. And how, sorry, you may have mentioned it. How long is day two's training? Uh, it's also about an hour. Yeah. All right. Awesome. I have a, so do you, you had mentioned uh, before we started recording a pretty sizable income that you generate just on a monthly basis from some of the tools that you've recommended out there. And, and you mentioned that day two is when you do tell them, Hey, here, if you want my funnels, right, go, go get a click funnels account and it'll be imported in. Um, so I want to backtrack and ask some questions about that. Do you push that pretty hard? Do you have like emails that go out about it too? Or is it just like, it's in day two, you mention it, it's in the resource file, whoever signs up, signs up. You, it's not like you're like sending emails and sending, you know, bonus pages and all this stuff to get them to sign up for these offers. Yeah, no, I don't really do that. I basically try to get them to watch day two. Day two is where, you know, I do say, hey, you, do, you need click funnels, you need an email autoresponder you need, uh, you know, maybe Bluehost. So like, well, there's all these things that they need, um, that, but that's all in the, in, on day two usually. So I really try to get them to open up the challenge and watch the videos. And as I mentioned, um, on day one, I give them a workbook as well. So the workbook um, also pretty much goes through all of day two, um, which has all the affiliate links as well. So so, you know, I, I make sure that they, I make sure they open the challenge. That's the biggest thing for me. And, you know, because for me, the challenge does the work, the videos do all the work, yeah. you know, they're not going to sign up for a, a software. They don't need it. Right. So the, that's why I don't really push that. I push them back to the, to the challenge. Yeah. Awesome. How many $7? So before we get to day three, cause I, I have some questions related to the, the affiliate programs you're promoting. Um, how many of these $7 challenge buyers have you had? Like how many have you sold? You sold? Um, I want to say almost 30,000. Let me check. Damn. Sorry. That's awesome. That was a, that was a very organic reaction. Out of me. I was not, you said it so casually. I was not expecting 30,000 dude. That's huge. 
we we have about exactly eh, about twenty seven thousand so ish. Wow, and that's mostly from organic. I would say yeah, ninety five percent. I do have affiliates though, so we can talk about that as well. But yes, that's yeah. So, and that's over how long? It can't be that a couple of years. I mean, I, you've not been doing this that long. I launched this pretty much end of twenty twenty, so you could say beginning of twenty twenty one. So about a year and four months. A year and four months, yeah. I am. That's the TKO, everybody. I told you he'd knock me out today. That that's it. I'm speechless. Like holy crap! I cannot let Thomas on my team hear this because he is gonna come running at me saying, "I told you so! I told you so!" That's incredible, dude. Oh my god, that's from organic. Like that is just so impressive. I know you got affiliates, but it's I'm sure still a bulk of that's from from yourself. Um, how, yeah, out of that twenty seven thousand, how many do you think you got to buy a ClickFunnels membership? Oh man, um, a lot. You know, obviously you have people that uh, cancel. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you right now, I have about one hundred and twenty people paying monthly um click funnels so and you okay. know that this challenge helped me win you know i'm sure you know the click funnels dream car where if you have 100 people they buy you a, a car or whatever so this challenge helped me do that and like the back end from the challenge itself is pretty insane i think i was telling you earlier you know just with the softwares and the back end stuff about thirty thousand a month like and that's not yeah. even like the extra stuff i'll push you know you know, I'll have this, I, it helped me build this email list where I can obviously now promote other things. So, no. yeah. No, that's incredible. Um, that, that is genuinely incredible. Awesome. Um, I will say it's like, it's it, it, one number that caught my eye is like 27,000 people bought, but 120 are actively in ClickFunnels. Like that kind of sounds like, damn, people like do stuff. <laughs> like if you buy it, like take action. Yeah, I will say this. Um, I do have uh, an alternative, which a lot of people actually go to. It's the system.io. It's a free funnel builder. A lot okay. of people end up using that one. Um, okay. You know, but yeah. Um, yeah, ironic. The the CEO of that company just reached out to me recently. So what's their shtick? It's free up until you hit a certain point? Yeah, it's it's free until you get, uh, I think it's a thousand contacts or something. There's, there's, there's a whole thing. Um, it's pretty cool. Got I think it. eventually I'm going to, it's cool because they can still build their business because I don't want them to have to spend the money if they could technically build this all in, you know, system of .io, uh, yeah. for free until they get that thousand. And yeah, but I've actually made quite a, quite a bit with, with that as well, because I'll, like I said, I would say most people use that because it is free, you know? So, yeah, uh, but I've made quite a bit, wow. even though, even though it's a free model. Awesome. All right. Um, Cool. All right. Day three. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, no, no. Perfect. Um, I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything here. Okay, cool. So yeah. So day three is all about traffic, right? So I'm very simple on it. I, I don't like to like BS people like hey, 20 days and you're going to have a business. No, it's like day one, day two, day two, we got the system done. Day three, we just need traffic, right? I make it super easy, uh, super easy for them to go through it and understand. So day three is like, Hey, this is how I use YouTube. This is how you find keywords. This is how you, um, you know, post a video on YouTube. This is how I create a TikTok, and then I talk about YouTube ads as well. So, pretty high level. Uh, obviously, I go way in depth in the main course, and that's kind of the goal, right? But I still give them enough on day three where they don't have to buy the main course, right? So, mm -hmm. I do that because. I'm, a, I'm in this for the long term. I know eventually I'm going to get them to buy because I have people that join my three day challenge. And then even like eight months, nine months later, there's they're buying the main program because they see the people getting the results in the Facebook group. So a big part of this challenge is having that group and that community of people um, basically doing all the work for you. Uh, but yeah, let me go back to day three. We'll talk about the Facebook group. But basically on day three, I just talk about all about traffic. The, obviously, that's the most important part of your business. You need to be building up a, some sort of YouTube channel or or TikTok or, you know, obviously, if people don't want to do that, you got to do paid ads, right? So um, and then on day three, uh, it's about an hour training. And then I, and I have about 45 minute kind of webinar pitch to the to the main program, which is you know, freedom breakthrough, which is my 1497. Um, yeah. And that's it. 
All right. And so using, do you pitch your um, webinar at any other point or is the only way they see your webinar offer to go to day three and finish it? Or do you like start doing emails and stuff to, cause there's probably a huge portion of your people that do not do the work, right? They don't go day one, day two, day three. Oh, yeah. So do you ever kind of shortcut them into going straight to a webinar to watch about your main offer? Um, so, you know, we used to have a webinar. That was actually how I first started promoting the program. Um, since then I got rid of it and the challenge has been really good. I actually do want to do that now um, yeah. moving forward because it's another way for them to get in. So right now we don't have another way for them to get in uh, besides like emails and um, and like YouTube videos. So they can go straight to the main program. Like I have links all on my YouTube videos, but most of them will come from the challenge. So most, most of your buyers will actually find the, find the main program by watching day one, day two, and day three at the end. Yeah, and then uh, like I, I basically have it all in, like there's a membership area inside of ClickFunnels, so it's like super simple, um, nothing like fancy, right? And then basically on day three, I say, you know, unlock Freedom Breakthrough 2.0, and it's all there. So um, yeah, that's basically it. And then in, in the membership area, they can see like day one, day two, day three, underneath they could see like the whole core program, but it's, it's locked until they upgrade. So they upgrade, then they could see everything. So I kind of did that on purpose so they can see, oh, wow, you know, module one, module two, module three, you got email marketing, you got YouTube, you got TikTok, Facebook, high, high ticket closing. Like, you know, it looks pretty juicy. Right. So I added that in there so they can kind of like upgrade right so i did that on purpose yeah. okay so so they're they're kind of seeing that all along people can upgrade into this even on day one or day two without having finished day three but what you're basically saying is if they were to do that they're not going to watch a webinar presentation they would legit just see like a sales page with an order button um and then so some people might be buying it that way and they're not even finishing or waiting until day three is over and then a large portion of people are buying because if they finish day one day two by the time they love you so day three they're like all right forget it i'll buy this thing is that kind of a correct yeah. summary no no yeah for sure i mean a lot of people definitely i mean we're all over the place i would say some people would buy after day two and some people will watch the kind of the mini webinar on day three and then buy um but a lot of this is a feedback i've been getting is once they get into the facebook group and i think the facebook group has been the game changer for us they see my students getting results, right? My students are posting, you know, I quit my job. I got my first uh, high ticket commission. Um, and like, I have like literally hundreds and hundreds of students like getting results. So the, the program itself self does get results. So that's a huge plus because they post inside the group and then all these new people coming in, they see them and they're like, oh, what do they do? Oh, they all purchased the, the core program. So then they go back and, and, and buy. So that's another thing as well that people, some people do buy when they, when they're inside the Facebook group, you know? So it's, it's pretty cool. That's a lot of, a lot of people are doing the work for me by just simply posting inside the group. That's awesome, man. Um, uh, I was, one of my questions was going to be, do you, how do you, do, does the group stay positive? So your students who are getting the results, are they getting their results because they're turning around, becoming an affiliate of your program and posting videos and TikToks and then driving traffic to your affiliate link? And so they're driving traffic to you and then getting a sale. Is it kind of like that? Do you have that loop going on or are a lot of your case studies of people that are just going off and doing something completely different by getting results? It's both. So I don't like programs that just tell you to promote their own. So I never, yeah. ever say, Hey, you have to promote this, right? If you want to, you can sign up to be an affiliate. Don't have to though. Right. So, um, as far as the Facebook group, it's all kinds of programs, right? There's my program. There's even ClickBank, ClickFunnels, right. Um, all these other, you know, may even like the health niche, right. Cause I teach affiliate marketing, but in all niches, right. Hey, if you want to be a health affiliate, uh, uh, relationships coach. So they're getting like all the, I just teach them the framework, right? I just teach them the framework. And if they want to go and promote anything, right, whatever they want, whether it's mine or a different program in a different niche, they will, the, you know, they'll post about it though. And that's the powerful thing. So no, it's not just like mine. It's just like 
um, a bunch of other programs, right? And I just teach them the framework on how to do it because it's, it's essentially the same thing. I What I teach is fairly simple on it. It's just build an email list. That's your main asset. Um, and build it on something called the affiliate stacking ecosystem, which is how to promote multiple products on the back ends of each other. That's basically what I teach. You can do it in make money online relationships. So no, it's not just my program to answer your question. Yeah, no, makes sense. Um, wow, awesome. All right. Uh, I mean, I, I, it, it, I got pretty much everything that I needed right now. I'm thinking, okay, it's, it's, uh, you, sh you already talked some one of the questions was also going to be about like, Hey, what does your members area look like? And you, you talked about that, right? Day one, day two, day three, keep it simple. Don't add a bunch of stuff in there. So they're super targeted. They know what to watch, but then you do kind of show them the faded sneak peek of like, Hey, if you unlock the next course, there's this, there's this awesome amount of stuff there. Um, you have your $7, $54, 99, 147. Um, the fifty-four dollar. Where'd that number come from? Did you price test that? Yeah, I, I tested that twenty-seven, uh, uh, then thirty-four. I've I've gone up every. I've gone up, and it still stays at the like twenty-two percent uh, conversion. So, <laughs> like, I, I keep moving it up, and it still stays at like that conversion. So, yeah, nice. All right, um, you got your upsells. You told us what those offers are. You also have back end monetization with your 1497 program. And then you have your affiliate programs. You talked about how they work. You said your Facebook group is a very important element because a lot of people become buyers after they see over time, they see all the results from the students. Um, and it's working in, in volume. I mean, 27,000 front end buyers for this, uh, killer, killer, killer stuff. I'm I'll, Dude, I don't actually have any other questions. It makes sense to me. Like I understand how this works, what you're doing. You were super concise and specific, so I appreciate that. By the way, before I ask more stuff or ask you what you know, question I'm thinking about, where can people find you? Go ahead and throw some URLs and stuff out because I, I really want people to follow you and what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my main platform that I teach is, is YouTube. So you can type in Jonathan Montoya. Uh, the actual channel name is called Passive Income Lifestyles. Uh, TikTok, I'm, I'm fairly big on there. I got about 200,000 followers. Uh, you can just find me at Passive Income Lifestyles. Um, you could also join my Facebook group. Like I said, um, that's where my main community is as far as like my students. Uh, basically, just type in Three Day Business Breakthrough Challenge. You can find my Facebook group there or just on Facebook, Jonathan Montoya. So, yeah. That's awesome. Um, what have I not asked you about this funnel that I should have? Um, I, I think the big thing on it is, um, you know, cause with the low ticket, I think the main issue is you're going to get a lot more support questions. Right. I think that yeah. was like the biggest thing is like, you know, you got all these questions, right. Coming in, you know, you can, as you can imagine the 27,000, a lot of those are going to ask support questions. Like, and so it's going to blow up your support. Right. So yeah. what I try to do is I'm like, if it's something like, we can fix in the Facebook group, we'll lead them there. And what's cool is, you know, if they have like a specific questions about, you know, how to build a, how to build a funnel or how to set up your email autoresponder, like basic stuff like that, which is about 90% of questions, we'll just send them to the Facebook group. Like, Hey, can you ask your question here? And most of the time, everyone will do all the work for you. They're going to go and help those people. Right. So it's kind of cool because the Facebook group works as, testimonials, but also works as support and the students themselves are doing the support. Right. So pretty cool. Uh, the way the Facebook group works. So yeah, that, that was the one thing I wanted to mention as well. Love it, man. That is awesome. Um, uh, I got, I seriously, I, I, if I could think of a question, you know, me, I would ask it at the moment. I'm like, I'm, I'm seeing how this works and I'm intertwining it with what I'm planning on doing with my funnel. And we want to do new funnels too, because I see we have um, Alicia Little, someone we publish, and she has a really cool course. She teaches people how to get um, become freelancers, right, and get gigs quickly. And I'm looking at the model you've got here, and it just follows what she does so perfectly. Like she could totally do this and have a challenge, an automated challenge on this. Um, it's right up her alley. So awesome stuff, man. I don't have anything else. Thanks for being back on this episode. Um, any last words you have for the audience who's listening? No, I mean, um, if, if you have any questions about, you know, my evergreen funnel, like reach out to me on Facebook, I'll like definitely get back to you. So 
Yeah, nothing, man. Th- just thanks for having me on. And I always appreciate you and everything. You know, you always help me with everything. So I appreciate you. Oh, man, I appreciate that. Thanks for being on. Listen, everybody, if I, if you're not following Jonathan, you are missing out. So on our show notes, we'll give links, but he also just gave you the links. You can rewind and uh, listen to that again and then go follow him. I'm telling you, you'll love what he does. Go through his funnel as well and, and, and learn by doing and learn from him. His YouTube training is epic. All right. Without further ado, everyone, come on. Go to onicpodcast.com to binge listen to other episodes. L-U-R-N.com to join the entrepreneurial revolution. And please make sure you subscribe and tell other people about this podcast and leave us a great review. It helps us climb the rankings. Lots more coming up with this podcast soon. I'm going to be blowing it up soon. So get excited, get ready. Jonathan, thank you so much. And to the rest of you, what do I always say? When life pushes you, stand straight, smile, push it the heck back. Until next time, fight for your dreams. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks, bye. Thanks for listening to The Fighting Entrepreneur with your host, Onyx Singal. 